Hi guys, today I'm coming again to your doorsteps full of appreciation and thankfulness for what you guys have been doing for myself, Semenshia Farms and farming in Africa in general. But before I go in there, if you're new watching me, then I want to give you a little bit of background. We started our farming journey about six years ago now and started a livestock farm in my hometown called Snase in the Brooklyn municipality. Long story short, a few months ago, we were asked to evacuate our goats from the land because of tradition. We did adhere to the instructions of the chief and therefore decided to relocate to an already existing land that we have acquired in the eastern region to set up our farm. This land was supposed to be one of many of our model farms across Africa and Ghana. So we were pushed harshly to come and start something here. Obviously, that wasn't the plan for this year. We had other plans that we had already invested into. But as a businessman, as an visionary, I know that this couldn't be the end of our story nor journey. And therefore, I reach out to you guys for support, for encouragement, for direction, and for advice as well. And you guys didn't let me down. And that's why today I'm here to share some of the amazing story with you guys and also what you guys have been doing to keep us going. As I'm talking to you, I'm standing in the Eastern region in the Suhum municipality on the construction site of our new Sementia L&D farm. Here is gonna be an L&D farm where research is gonna be conducted on gold farming specifically for now. Obviously, we hope to explore other livestock farming as well. In this land, we are going to have a sales yard, which I have spoke about in other video. This sales yard is going to actually go into communities and look for the right breeding goats for farmers, where every farmer that wanna go into a livestock farming can come here and get a good quality breed and not go to a market and buy breeds without having trays or knowing what is actually going to help them. This farm is also going to be an experiment farm for all kinds of breeding goats. Talking about your boa goat, your sun and goat, your ipan goats, your local West African dwarf, your Mali and Niger um, Sahelian goat and so on. We are going to try and understand these goats to the fullest so that any farmer that is thinking about investing their money into such a breed can come here get the experience when we talk about experience we're talking about your management skills we're talking about your health plan we're talking about your um, nutrition plan so that you can take whatever we've done here that we are succeeding into your farm and to succeed this is a project that is going to serve us as farmers everybody around any corner even beyond Ghana and also the next generation tomorrow when I'm not here. And I know most of you believe in this vision. And that is why over the past few weeks, you guys have shown me so much love that is compelling me to actually come and do this video. So I wanna start by saying a big thank you to all of you that have been so helpful to us. Some of you have donated in kind, somebody have donated with money um, to be able to help us. We just um, brought electricity to this site. That is because of your generous donations. As you guys can see, we are also building our model farm, um, which is gonna host about 60 goats for now. We wanna start small and get a focus more on the learning and the experiment before we even scale. Some of you have helped us with the wood purchase, net purchasing, fencing, um, and even accommodation. So I wanna say a big thank you. I don't wanna mention names because I can't mention all of you your name. Whatever you've given, whether it was five cities, two cities, whether it was all the way up to a thousand dollars, thank you so much for all your effort. My brothers in, in Nigeria that have just called and say, Fred, you have been so, such an inspiration to me and therefore this is it for you. I want to say a big thank you to all of you Nigerians, Ghanaians, those of you living in Canada, US, Germany, UK, Belgium that have helped us to rebuild this farm. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. I know in kind, I know a gentleman who is living in I think UK, if I can remember correctly, you have a truck in Kumase and all what we needed to buy was fuel to be able to move our things from our old farm and bring it here. That was a gift I was never expecting. Actually, when you actually got in touch with us, we were already arranging for a car to bring our things. But this really helped us, saved us money that we can invest into something else. Now we are thinking about 
you know, borehole. You guys remember, I have built three boreholes on my previous land. Now we are pushed to build another borehole. So on Monday, we are hoping to build another borehole here. Um, there's still so much that we want to do. But today, I want to say a big thank you to you. You just didn't talk. You just didn't share our videos. It wasn't just words, but you've actually helped us to rebuild what you guys are seeing here. And I know in the next one to two months, you're really going to see a complete farm with the support from you. So this video is all about my appreciation, my genuine thankfulness for this community that we've built that is so supportive. And I can't pay you guys all, but I know what we're doing. It's not going to benefit Fred, but it's going to change the next phase of livestock farming in Ghana and in Africa. Thank you guys so much for your continuous support. And if you still want to support, please go to our website. The link is in our bio. It's in a comment below as well. And you can still donate with us anyhow that you can, even if it's just kind words or direction, or you have a skills that you can bring to us. We are building this with you guys and we want to continue doing that. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. And we, on behalf of Farming in Africa and Samantia Farm, says thank you to all of you for your kind donations, whether in kind, in cash, in bank transfer, in advice, and whatever sort of um, way you have helped us to get into where we are. We're still focusing on the positive. We're still focusing on the vision and what has happened has happened. That is the next move. And I'm so glad to have you guys alongside with me. Thank you, and I'll see you in another video.